This public health care center is short-staffed. Patients with various ailments wait, sometimes for hours, to see one of the only two available doctors. There are similar scenes at other clinics across Nigeria, all due to a mass exodus of qualified healthcare professionals. Dr. Roland Agbovo is one of the few qualified doctors still in the country, but he too has plans to leave. And you all know how to a medical to train a medical doctor. And it, many a times, yeah, all of us are not really from the wedding family. So many of us have had our way struggle through schools and everything. And now that you need to now fend for yourself and your family, whose responsibility now lies on you. We are working now. Every now and then, doctors are going on strike. Every now and then, we have one dispute or the other, and the government is paying leave service to it. And instead of dissipating your energy into all these things, why not just concentrate, write this final uh, foreign exam, go outside the country? The World Health Organization regards one doctor for every 600 people as an acceptable standard. In Nigeria, the current ratio is one doctor for every 50,000 people. That means the country needs an additional 237,000 healthcare professionals. Further complicating the problem, the Nigerian Medical Association says of the more than 80,000 registered doctors in the country, only 35,000 are actually practicing. In terms of manpower, we are far, far below. We have taken care of 170 million people of Nigeria, about 40,000 doctors, far, far below the WHO standard. The working environment is not all that good. The doctors are still left with obsolete equipment. The government says it's doing everything it can to meet doctors' needs. But some say authorities aren't committed to improving the sector. A situation whereby government on its own does not even have that confidence in the health system. Any governor or any senator or any the president, of course you knew what happened when the president was outside this country for a number of months. You also agree with me that the president maybe, maybe was treated in this country by now would have been gone. But now the president has seen the kind of health care system over there. And since he came by, he has not even made any effort to try to replicate that in this country. With more than 180 people living in Nigeria, it's Africa's most populous nation. And a lack of doctors could have devastating consequences. Terry Wangari, CGTN.